middle of a wind dust storm out here in the desert and the bus is rocking and rolling <laughs> it's crazy this video I shot earlier while I was lying down with a migraine and I shot the video in order to explain what an ocular migraine is and also I discuss things that I've decided um, changes that I've decided to make in my life so stay tuned for that I hope you enjoy it obviously the migraine is gone and I'm feeling much better I'm heating water to take a shower which always makes me feel better after well it makes me feel better period right but it always makes me feel better after one of these migraine episodes so stay tuned for that and I hope you guys have a wonderful day other than the dust storm here and the migraine, my day's going pretty good. Peace. Hey everybody, Lainey here. You may wonder, why is she laying down taking a video? Well, because I wanted to talk to you about something and I really can't sit up right now. But I felt it was important to talk to you all about it. I... I'm having what is called an ocular migraine. So what that means is um, I get a headache, a migraine headache, but it affects my vision. So the way that it starts is I start losing either all of my vision or just a partial amount of my vision. Today it's partial um, in either one or both eyes. Today it is both eyes. And um, what happens is there is a, uh, like a flashing light that I can start seeing in the, the my field of vision. It either is on the left side or the right side or the center. Um, if it's in both eyes, it's exactly the same in both eyes. So um, what happens is when I start noticing that, then I take the medication and it usually will um, resolve itself within 30 minutes to sometimes it takes over an hour, but usually pretty quickly. And most of the time I do not actually get the headache pain. I might get a small amount of pain, but not, um, not like most migraines are. Um, it can be triggered by any number of things. Every person's triggers are different. Mine happen to be, oddly enough, vinegar. <laughs> so if I get too much vinegar, I'll have a migraine. Um, lack of caffeine, uh, wind, excessive wind, stress. Um, I think that's it. Um, today, it could be the wind because it started right after the wind picked up. So I think it's less about the wind and more about the barometric pressure. And um, and also, sorry, I'm having trouble concentrating. I'm also cutting back on my caffeine intake because I've decided to try and get healthier this year. It wasn't like a resolution. It was just a decision I made, okay? And it happened to be made in December. So some people might call it a resolution. Um, that that There's several goals. One is to lower my caffeine intake. Uh, my neurologist warned me not to get off caffeine completely. My choice of caffeine is Coca-Cola, specifically prefer the Mexican version of Coca-Cola over the American version because the Mexican version is made with pure cane sugar and it tastes like the Coca-Cola that those of a certain age, like me, remember from our childhood. Um, it's delicious. <laughs> and um, I totally lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, what I'm doing. And I'm trying to eat healthier. I'm adding probiotics to my diet, which in and of itself has been kind of a bitch today because um, I have irritable bowel syndrome to begin with. So of course, when I started adding probiotics, that just totally screwed with that. And uh, 
so not only do I have this migraine today, but I've had, you know, <laughs> gastrointestinal issues. That's the nice way to put it. Um, and I also want to quit smoking. Um, yeah. So those are some goals that I'm working on this year. And as I'm making these changes, I think my body is just rebelling because, you know, when you're making dietary changes. Oh, and I'm also exercising more, uh, getting less sedentary. So when you're making dietary changes and changes in your lifestyle, like becoming more active and less sedentary, sometimes our bodies don't appreciate these sudden changes. Um, I'm not trying to quit smoking and eat healthier and get more active all at the same time. So um, that would be like an effort in futility because I would fail at everything. We can't make those kinds of changes all at once, right? Um, but I'm taking it in baby steps. So right now I'm working on the healthier eating piece. Less sugar, more um, good food. I have a sugar addiction <laughs> and a caffeine addiction and a nicotine addiction. But you know what? I don't have a drug addiction and I don't have an alcohol addiction. For all of you who don't know, I have been sober for 37 years. <laughs> I'm very proud of that. And you may think, oh my God, when did you start drinking? Well, I came from a difficult home life and I started drinking at the age of like, I don't know, 11, 12 when I started smoking too. And I quit drinking when I was pregnant with my first kid at 22, and I've never gone back to it. I also quit smoking with each pregnancy. Um, and then after I was finished breastfeeding, I went back to it, except my third baby. And I stayed nicotine free for 14 years. I was very proud of myself, and I didn't think I would ever go back to smoking, but. Um, in 2003, um, I'm adopted, and in 2003, I found my entire birth family. And the day that my one of my sisters, who had also been put up for adoption, and I were waiting to meet our mother for the first time, she was a smoker. And we were just standing there together, and she was chain-smoking. And, oh, God, it smelled so good, and I was so stressed out and nervous. And I had just been told by my doctor a couple weeks before that I most likely had multiple sclerosis. And um, I had found out that my kid's father had uh, multiple affairs, all in the span of, like, a couple of months. So I was pretty damn stressed out. And so I asked her for one of her cigarettes and it was as if I had never quit. Within two months, I was full blown smoking again. So yeah, and that was in 2003. So I've been smoking ever since. Anyway, how did I get off on that tangent? But I wanted to talk to you about ocular migraines. That's why I initially wanted to make this video while I'm actually having an ocular migraine. And there are some really interesting videos on YouTube. Just YouTube search ocular migraine. And I think it was the company that makes Excedrin who put out some videos to show other people what those of us with ocular migraines see when we actually have those types of migraines. So if you're interested, check it out. And I'm going to let you guys go and I'm going to rest. I have an important conference call meeting later this afternoon. So I'm hoping that this will be resolved by then. Okay, guys. Peace. <laughs>